Claude Monet is thought to be one of the greatest landscape painters ever. And while his impressionistic use of shimmering colors is rightly acknowledged, the greatest landscape artist of all time has to be nature. And to prove that point, here are 25 of the most colorful landscapes on Earth. 25. Great Rift Valley this is a continuous geographic trench that extends for some 6,000 kilometers from Asia to Southern Africa. Stretching through Tanzania, the environment is extremely hot and salty, so much so that most plants and animals cannot survive here. But wetland birds like flamingos actually thrive here, as do species of microorganisms that survive on the salt and give the waters an otherworldly reddish hue. 24. Panola Flower Fields China's Luping Basin seems to exhibit a neon yellow explosion every spring. That's due to the canola flowers that bloom, turning the landscape into a brilliant golden carpet of flowers as far as the eye can see. Hard to imagine that the canola flower is used in the cooking oil of the same name, isn't it? 23. Painted Desert the National Park, located in Arizona, is likely best known for its great deposits of petrified wood. But many fossils and archaeological sites have been found there too. Part of the park extends into the Painted Desert, known for its brilliant colors, and contains unique land formations like the teepees. 22. Gold Rush As seasons move from winter, spring is seen as a time of rebirth. Now, As you'll note in our list, it's a time when flowers come into full bloom and put on a dazzling display of colors. In particular, the California gold fields in Antelope Valley epitomize that artistry, producing carpets of gold and yellows which inspired the plant's name. 21. Spiaggia Rosa Translated as the Pink Beach, it's located on the island of Budili in Sardinia, Italy. The unusual coloration is due to seashell and coral fragments that have built up on the island over time. Looking at how the pinkish tint contrasts against the crystal blue waters, it's little wonder why this is the most renowned feature of Budili. 20. Hokkaido of Japan's four main islands, Hokkaido is the least developed, but it does boast a beautiful landscape thanks to the blooming flowers found there. From spring to fall, tulips and lavenders are among the flowers cultivated throughout the hills. Thanks to clear, sunny weather during the summer, tourists often like to camp and hike through the wide open terrain. 19. Kalhan Paint Mines Hoodoos are tall, thin spires of rock that are mainly found in dry, hot desert regions. And you'll find plenty of beautifully colored and towering hoodoos at the Kalhan Paint Mines in eastern Colorado. The park is home to a complex ecological system that includes prairies and wetlands. Did you know that archaeological evidence suggests that the area was populated by indigenous peoples some 9,000 years ago? 18. Bloody Hell Pond Now in Japan you'll find hot springs identified as the Hells of Beppu, which have been designated nationwide as a place of natural scenic beauty. Now this particular location found in Beppu City was thought to be a portal to hell. In fact, its name, Chinoki Jigaku, literally means Bloody Hell Pond. With temperatures approaching 170 degrees Fahrenheit, this is one hot spring you would best avoid. The reddish coloration results from iron oxide deposits rise to the surface of the springs. 17. Red Beach Located in Panjin, China, the beach is covered with seaweed called suida, which turns bright red in the fall. A small section of the beach is accessible to the public, but there is a wooden walkway that stretches out to sea that can be used for exploration. Composed of shallow seas and tidelands, this is said to be the largest reed, marsh, and wetland in the entire world. 16. Laguna, Colorado this is a shallow salt lake found in the Eduardo Avaroa National Reserve of Bolivia. The reddish tint is the result of sediments and the pigmentation of algae that inhabit the water. In addition to the unique coloration, the area is also known as a gathering spot for flocks of flamingos. 15. Havasu Falls Now this site is contained within Havasu Creek, which is contained within the Grand Canyon. The waterfalls are a contrast to the surrounding desert environment. They're very popular with hikers, and the falls are known for the vivid blue-green coloration. And that coloration is due to a high concentration of calcium carbonate and magnesium. The minerals are also responsible for several travertine dams in the vicinity. 
14. Rice Terraces The Yunnan province of China is well known for its amazing rice paddy terracing. The patterns almost appear like a type of abstract artwork. Photographers especially favor the area due to the intense surreal designs. Ancestors of the region's Hani people have been crafting these terraces by hand for some 1300 years to irrigate the rice crops. 13. Lake Helia That pink coloration is not a Photoshop effect, nor does it indicate a massive pool of Peptobismol. No, Lake Helia was discovered in 1802 in Australia, and it has always had that unusual coloration. Experts say it results from the water's high salinity, combining with microorganisms including halophilic bacteria in the salt crusts, which help to produce a reddish dye. 12. Tulip Fields Starting in mid-March until the end of May, visitors in the Netherlands are treated to the brilliant display of tulips blanketing the landscape in brilliant colors ranging from red to gold to purple. In the springtime, you can wade through fields that are knee-deep in the flowers. Mid-April is considered the peak of the flowering season when the colors are at the most vivid. 11. Grand Prismatic Spring Found in Yellowstone National Park, this wonder of nature looks like a real-life psychedelic effect. Well, it's actually one of several hydrothermal features that were created by a supervolcano in the region. In fact, that supervolcano still exists underneath the area, but lies dormant, for now anyway. It's the biggest hot spring in the U.S., going some 160 feet deep and measuring around 370 feet in diameter. Overall, it ranks as the world's third largest hot spring, with temperatures reaching upwards of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The spring's most distinctive feature is likely the blue coloration in the center, and that's caused by scattered particles of blue light held suspended in the water. 10. Fly Geyser Some people have compared this image to something out of a sci-fi movie, but it is a natural phenomenon that is located in the Black Rock Desert of Nevada. Back in 1964, an energy company drilled into geothermal waters by mistake, and that resulted in a scalding fountain of water that can shoot upwards of 5 feet high. The unusual cone grows several inches each year due to the mineral buildup from the geyser. And as for those vivid colors, well, experts say they are the result of thermophilic algae. 9. Turquoise Ice A combination of strong winds and freezing temperatures, along with the movement of ice flows, can result in massive blocks of ice called ice hummocks. The unique formations can be found along with some startling colors at Lake Baikal in Siberia. The hummocks can reach almost 15 meters high and almost appear like sculptures. And the turquoise-colored ice looks like exotic accents in the frozen landscape. 8. Dala As sea levels drop, temperatures rise, and that is the story with Dala. Located more than 400 feet below sea level, it has an average annual temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The yellowish tinge is a result of hot sulfur springs in the area, which can also feature a wide array of colors dotting the landscape. 7. Antelope Canyon in the Navajo lands near Page, Arizona, it's where you'll find these unique and colorful forms of a slot canyon. Sunlight filtering in from above brings out the vividness of the pinks, oranges, and purples that can be alternately amplified and muted. The best time to visit is in the summer, when the sunlight brings out the colors in all their intensity. 6. Autumn Also known as fall in North America, the transition from summer into winter offers the chance to see some of nature's most vibrant and dramatic colors on display. As trees shed the leaves, it can result in golden blankets covering the ground, and leaves that remain on the trees can explode in reds and oranges so vibrant it almost appears like it's on fire. 5. Seven Colored Earths Located in southwestern Mauritius, this is a smallish set of sand dunes composed of seven distinct colors, hence the name. Experts say the surreal striping colors are the result of molten volcanic rock cooling down at different temperatures and rates. Along with the colors, this popular tourist attraction is noted for a couple of unique characteristics. The sand dunes never seem to erode despite the torrential rains of Mauritius. 4. Morning Glory Pool Located in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, this is a hot spring that exhibits some brilliant colorations, and in some ways it could be a companion piece to the park's better-known Grand Prismatic Spring, which we saw earlier on a list. You can thank a type of bacteria that thrives on hot temperatures for the striking color scheme. Now, that pool was actually named for the Morning Glory Flower, and on rare occasion it will erupt as a geyser. 3. Rainbow Mountain 
Located in Peru's Cusco region, the multi-hued mountain rises some 5,200 meters high in the Andes and is known as Vinicunca. Its unusual coloration is the result of sediment and atmosphere, which is unique due to the area's isolation and altitude. Even with its striking colors, it is notorious for being difficult to find because it's located deep inside the mountain range. 2. Caño Cristales This river in Colombia is often called the River of Five Colors, or the Liquid Rainbow. That's when a native aquatic plant known as the Macarena clavigera is active. It's that plant species that creates all the beautiful colors in the water, and thanks to those unique and striking colors, many people consider this to be the most beautiful river in the world. 1. Danxia Landforms now these amazing multi-hued mountains are found in the Zanjai National Geopark in China. The area contains nearly 700 walls, pillars, peaks and stone bridges. Even temples are featured on some of the mountains. And those awesome colors? They range from dark reds to pale blues to vibrant greens. Experts say that as the reddish sandstone was eroded, the mountains were formed over millions of years, creating this unusual landscape. 